So in this video, I want to talk about the activation of the parasympathetic nervous system, which is often referred as our rest and digest mode. So what happens to all our organs? Let's start first looking at the eyes. The pupillar are constricted because there's no need to collect extra light. The sun is shining bright. Also, we are feeling very comfortable now, so we can read a book. So we're going to accommodate for near vision. We don't care right now if somebody else walks in the room. We just care about our book, so we accommodate for near vision. The bronchioles are constricted. There is no need to collect extra oxygen. Our heart rate is nice and low. Now it's a time for digestion. So we're going to have increased salivation and also lacrimation. So what you can see here, because we are looking forward to digest. GI peristalsis is therefore increased. And the sphincter need to relax because now it's time to defecate and urinate. We also want to contract our detrasor muscle to be able to urinate. So what are the receptors that mediate these responses? For the parasympathetic nervous system that uses acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter, the receptors for acetylcholine at the effector site are muscarinic receptors. Muscarinic receptors are G-protein coupled receptors and come in five flavors, M1, till M5. M1 has more a modulatory function and M4 and M5 are predominantly found in the CNS so we don't need to worry about them right now. In the peripheral organs we have mainly M2 and M3. M2 is found on the heart and M3 is everywhere else so that's easy to remember. M2 is a GI coupled receptor and M3 is a GQ coupled receptor. So as we know that all the effects are mediated by M2 and M3, we can now predict which responses are mediated by which receptors. We said M2 is on the heart, therefore all the effects on the heart are mediated by M2, and all the other stuff is mediated by M3. Please note that M3 is a GQ-coupled receptor, which leads to calcium influx, which further leads to smooth muscle contraction. Therefore, all the effects that are mediated by M3 are either resulting in smooth muscle contraction or also increasing secretions like salivation and lacrimation. Let's have a further look at the GI tract and the bladder. We said now it's time to urinate and defecate. We want to di digest. So the peristalsis in the GI tract is increased. Also we want to contract the trouser muscle in order to be able to urinate. However, please note that the sphincters now need to relax in order to defecate and urinate. As we said, all the other effects are mediated by M3. We know that smooth muscle relaxation cannot be an M3 effect. And indeed, this is an exemption. The relaxation of the sphincters is probably mediated by, by nitric oxide. So it's an NO mediated effect. So nitrogenic transmission, which most likely mediate smooth muscle relaxation for the sphincters in the GI tract and the bladder. This concludes the video on the activation of the parasympathetic nervous system.